Georgia runoff elections designed to keep black candidates out of office. The Jim Crow roots of why Georgia law is requiring Raphael Warnock to stand for election twice. Racist laws conceived in the Jim Crow era form the origin of the Georgia runoff system, which has required Democratic Senator Rev. Raphael Warnock to stand for a second round of voting after narrowly edging out Trump-endorsed NFL veteran Herschel Walker in November by plurality. Since the 1960s, Georgia's majority voting law has required a candidate get 50% of the vote or more in order to be declared the winner, and was introduced by a staunch segregationist legislator named Denmark Groover. Even now, the law makes it more difficult for any group which forms a minority in the population to elect its candidates of choice, regardless of the candidate's ethnicity. When so-called white-only primary elections were deemed unconstitutional in 1946, black voter registration surged across the South, including in Georgia. In 1940, an estimated 250,000 black Southerners were registered to vote and that number rose to 775,000 by 1948, according to data from the National Park Service, said the report. When Groover lost re-election to the Georgia House of Representatives in 1958 despite winning the majority of the white vote, Data from segregated polling places in Macon revealed that black voters contributed to the upset victory by his opponent. Groover ultimately won re-election in 1963, and immediately pushed the runoff system as a way of diluting black voting power, which he referred to as the Negro voting bloc. The runoff system forces voters to choose between the two candidates with the most votes in a separate runoff election. That majority voting may seem innocuous but if the vote is racially polarized, runoffs discriminate against blacks because they are a minority of the voters. Groover freely admitted in the decades since that his political work was white supremacist, saying in a deposition, I was a segregationist. I was a county unit man. But if you want to establish if I was racially prejudiced, I was. If you want to establish that some of my political activity was racially motivated, it was. The runoff takes place on Tuesday. It will decide the size of Democrats' majority in the Senate, where they already have the 50 seats they need to control the chamber, and could decide how much power they have to execute their agenda and defend their majority on a Republican-tilted map in 2024.